So for non-obstructive azoospermia, that's to say there is a defective in the production of sperms, the treatment for this group of men is pretty advanced now. In a way, if you look at assisted conception techniques, that's to say IVF or the more improved technology of IVF, and specifically I'm talking about something called ICSI, intracytoplasmic injection of sperms, which we can explain at one stage, all we need is really effectively a good quality one sperm so we can take and inject into the egg of the uh, uh, female partner. Therefore, what we're going to need to do to treat that person with obstructive vasospermia, non-obstructive vasospermia, is to get that sperm out. And there are different ways of surgically retrieving sperms from the testes. It could be as simple as taking a small needle into the testes and retrieving these sperms. And that's what we call a technique called PISA, or percutaneous sperm extraction from the epididymis. The alternative would be going directly into the testes using a standard testicular biopsy or using special surgical techniques, using surgical microscopes, what we call microdissection and extraction of sperms. So if we look at treatment of non-obstructive azospermia, that's to say there is a defective production of the sperms at the level of the testes, that's to say defective spermatogenesis. Some people may call it testicular dysfunction, testicular failure, but there's not enough sperms going out from the testes to the, to the outside due to low number of production of sperms or quality or whatever. In that condition, which we call again non-obstructive vasospermia, what we're going to need to do, we are going to need to get one sperm effectively, healthy good sperm from the testes, so we can use assisted conception technology like ICSI, intracytoplasmic injection of sperm. So all we need is one healthy sperm to find it and inject it into the egg to achieve conception. 